Hi guys! Welcome to our Nihongo et Francais lesson. If you want to, we can do other things too. Not a problem. You know that I decided to take this time for you today to entertain you during those quarantine days. And I'm afraid that our sensei is sleeping. <laughs> so, I don't want to wake up the sensei. Sensei? Sensei, hi. Okay, let's go. Sensei, hi. Sensei, hi. Charlie, Sensei. You can ask the question. Charlie is our teacher today. Alors attends, les chats en direct. Hi, Kerry. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Good day. Good day. Bonjour. Hi guys, I am the Hawaiian teacher, your Hawaiian teacher today. Lisa Chang too. We have the shirts are out guys. Got a lunette. Yes! Hi guys! Yes, Coco Tayo. Those who follow us on Instagram, you saw us. Elle est mignonne. Kawaii. She's cute. Kawaii. Hi, Jason. Hi, guys. The shirts are out. Hi, Michael. Spring shirts out. The babies, you want to send les deux to see them. Oftaline. Les deux, ne? Hi, guys. We couldn't do the Hanami today. These are our Hanami shirts. Never mind. We did the Hanami in our <laughs> heads. Just Michael, you want to see the sensei? What? Boku wa? Alors, you know that in Japanese, women, we say, men can say watashi. Watashi wa. I am Jennifer. Watashi wa. Watashi wa Jennifer des. I'm Jennifer. Ne? Oh shoot, I forgot to make a live stream on Instagram to announce the live stream. Oh, never mind. Watashi wa Jennifer des. He's a boy. So boys, they have two ways of saying watashi wa boku wa. <laughs> boku wa boku kawaii. Boku wa boku sleepy. Boku in Japanese means me, I, for men. But in French, if you say boku, it means a lot. Donc boku wa me, I, the men. Boku wa boku very kawaii. Ah, boku wa boku. Bo je suis boku sleepy la yo. Okay, guys. My assistant Jennifer is going to take over the class. Be good. Be good, guys. Okay. <laughs> I will check out. I will check out your level in another lesson <laughs> that we will do in the morning when I'm not sleepy. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Sorry, baby boy. Voilà, alors, voilà, c'est ça. Merci, Jeff. I don't even have to write it. I do have to write it down, actually. Alors, Watashi. Watashi wa something des. Boy, man. Beaucoup wa. Or what's the other like? Nanti, you know, kudaketa. Nanka, you know, the super casual. Boku wa Jeff des. Perfect. One point for Jeff. The other way. <sighs> sensei is nemutai. He's sleepy, Sensei. Sensei. Pichi, t'es là? Salut. Ça va? Comment tu vas? Tu vas au boulot? Alors, the other way for men to say I is ole. 
but I recommend that you say beaucoup because if you don't use all the it's like really you have to feel it <laughs> like it's super dasai like doesn't suit foreigner foreigner men i think when they say ole they try to play the super the guy who masters japanese but it doesn't suit them exactly it can be ole is really like even <laughs> you don't have to be a yakuza to use ole but it's like a strong man or it's men who want to show let's say that they are strong and like very manly i would say and foreigners who try who actually do not speak that well japanese when they use ole i'm like you don't get it mate just just stick to watashi or boku because no you know um and then, or it's really when you talk, you know, to people, you really, they really know well, but I don't recommend it. But now, you know, but the other, so the other one, beaucoup, 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 Charlie, this, beaucoup. If we say, we, it's the same pronunciation, but we write it beaucoup. Oh, mais c'est pas <laughs> bon, the pronunciation is the same, but the spelling is really hard. Beaucoup, same pronunciation, and that means very much. Uh, no, a lot. Attends, let, I'm thinking, sorry. Tatoeba. Uh, Charlie if and Lisa I love them very much je les aime beaucoup very much né? did I say that it meant very much uh, sorry guys I am actually this is not a good timing for me to live stream I should live stream before I have lunch because I'm so sleepy right now and my brain is not functioning but it's okay that should be fun so I had a few questions uh on the community area thank you very much voila merci beaucoup <laughs> non mais attends c'est bon non mais j'ai mangé et j'ai hyper envie de dormir en fait parce que je me suis levée genre à 5 heures du mat donc uh, i woke up at 5 guys so i'm like oh my god i would like to do a siesta but i'm with you i'm stuck with you now <laughs> Because I promised you I would make a live stream. Shivata san konnichiwa. Bonjour. First question was from Philippe. And Philippe, I'm sorry, YouTube put you in the... Um, I had to check out to find your email. It was held, held for... to be checked out. And the problem is that I tried to validate it, but YouTube didn't let me do so, but I've seen it. And you wanted me to teach you that expression, the bon appetit in Japanese, what we say, and I always say before eating, itadakimasu. Ita, attends, itadakimasu. And actually, guys, we have done this lesson before. I did start doing lessons about half a year ago. Charlie started. I did. I start Charlie. And we stopped. He stopped. <laughs> he stopped. It stopped me. Voilà. C'est bon, j'ai l'excuse. Um, Charlie was supposed to do two lessons a week, every Monday and every far Friday. It lasted something like six a month, six weeks. And then voila, but he is back on the saddle. So what we say, what we say in Japanese before eating is itadakimas. That I always say, guys. So repeat after me. Itadakimas, itadakimas. Easy to pronounce. You pronounce it as it's written. Tadakimas, tadakimas. And in French, what did I teach you? C'est bien les filles. C'est bien les filles. Good. 
Girls, you are good students. You know me. After a while, I will give prizes to the good students. Bon appétit! And what did I teach you? But you knew already, Jessica. Because all those English speakers, even in the movies, what do I hear them saying? What do they pronounce? The freaking T at the end. No. Never pronounce that T, that T guys. So many people, even my French, my, no, not the French friends. <laughs> Seriously, like, in the last one, bon appétit! And I'm like, no! Bon appétit! Do not pronounce the T at the end, okay? Bon appétit! Bon appétit! Tadakimas! Bon appétit! It's very tif different and the, what you put into the. Itadakimas is more like you. Re I receive this food. Bon appétit is more like because it's really like good appetite. If I, it's a, the literal translation. So it would be like digging, you know. In Japan, people are more like, ah, oh, itadakimasu. Like, I received this food, right? In France, digging, bon appétit. Alors, next, and seriously, guys, feel you are not here. Tu n'es pas un bon étudiant. Ensuite, feel. Where is our favorite bogan? Hi, Chris. Ça va? How to say bogan in French? And I don't know. Uh, we can also sl switch. When I, if I get tired, I can't go to all through all the questions. I will switch to this, guys. Because I want to study this. Phil T asks, I would like to, he's a flight attendant. I would like to learn <laughs> a general casual <laughs> greeting. I can use with my Japanese colleagues at work. Also a more formal greeting for Japanese passengers, please. Arigato gozaimasu, Jennifer-san and Sensei Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen. Alors, feel when you watch on replay. Alors, to your Japanese colleagues and what you can use in every company, I think. I tried to think of a context, you know, like the context in a plane. But no, I think that even what I use when I go to my customers' companies. Have I taught you before otsukare sama des, otsukare sama des, which means, means the direct translation is like, you are very tired. <laughs> I think I we Charlie taught you that. Otsukare, otsukare. Tsukare means, ah, tsukareta, I'm tired. Huh? Tsukare means being tired, to be tired. Je suis un bogan des, voilà, c'est un peu ça, c'est ça. On peut mélanger les deux. We can mix. I like to mix both. When I talk to the babies, I always mix. So, Otsukare sama. Sama is like, he, uh, for example, Phil, you wrote Jennifer San. If you did not know me or if I were your boss, for example, or you would write me a letter and I'm your superior and I say, which, who I am anyways, we know that, but <laughs> just kidding. You, next time you can write Sama. <laughs> it's the um, respect, the most respectful way, let's say in the, when you speak daily, you use a san and to people you don't know and in business letters, for example, you say sama. When I write to uh, the bosses of the companies, of the people I work with, I write always sama. Now, 
this said the young youngest generation very often they don't even know you and they when they write jennifer san that really annoys me that pisses me off guys because this is not good manners when you don't know um someone at first you write sama you don't write san then you can switch to san after or if the person tells you you know to do so uh but i don't like that <laughs> i have um i like you know i'm old-fashioned when it comes to that no oskare sama des it's like even in English, and actually it's funny because I had this remark recently, you don't need to greet me each time you write to me. Uh, when it's a new day or I haven't written to the person for a few days or and especially if it's a few weeks, I like to say hi or dear Dale Dale San because I'm old fashioned guys. Would you just tell them something? Yeah, you can call me San. Uh, or yeah, I would say san de i desio. It's okay to use san, right? Um, but I think also it really pisses me off because uh, the Japanese, when it's Japanese young people, and I'm older than them, and I have a longer experience of the business than them, they should not uh, call me san. And there are two cases. There are the people who are just have it's the youngest generation, so they don't work. I've been taught by people who are older, old, elder people and the old generation, right? So, Nihongo no. Nanko ma chigatta ra yutte kudasai ne. Chotto kanta ni ne. Ano, mo entertainer da kara sa. Mina jishuku shite ro zo de. Uh, I'm explaining that yes, just simple words we are doing, and I'm just here to entertain you during those quarantine days today. Ça va bien, Paul. Merci. So those young people, when they write "san," it's because they just don't care. If they write "san" to anybody, or they write "san" because I'm a foreigner, and they think they because I'm a foreigner they can write "san." And that pisses me off because I have more business manners than they do. Voilà. <laughs> Alors, do you mind if strangers use to instead of vous? No. I use to a lot. And I think it's because uh, I'm a friendly person. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que t'en penses, toi? Uh, Pierre, moi je tutoie facilement, especially if it's like people of the same age as me. But no, and also I think it's because I live in Japan and I don't meet so many French people. And when I meet French people, we are in the same business. Uh, so I tend to use to very rapidly. <laughs> C'est le Bordeaux style. You know, PJ, I was thinking I could teach you the Bordeaux slang. Genre, t'es naze. T'es naze ou quoi Arrête, gros naze. <rire> naze, ça, ça c'est le bordelais, ça. You think so It's the south uh, Not sure. Uh, maybe. Uh, but I think also here, most of the people I, I've met, the French people living in Tokyo, most of them we used to very quickly. Bien entendu, entre mais, ouais, c'est sympa. Alors, San, yes, Kerry, I thought, uh, Kerry writes, I thought San showed respect. Yes, it shows respect. But, of course, when you talk to someone, you don't say uh, Charlie Sama. You can use Sama because he's the king, of course. Like, <laughs> like, Poupou, I'm, I, very often I call him Mo Sama because you know, like it's really you show respect. Of course, if uh, there are other, by the way, ways to say San and Sama, like more, like how you would talk to the emperor, but also you would see in books, and you know, for example. 
uh, the samurais between them, etc., etc. I will not go there. This is not the topic of this lesson, lesson but... Um, but yes, it shows respect, but in a business letter, if you don't know the person, you write Sama, not San. So back to the question, which was, what can you use with your co Japanese colleagues at work? And it works not only in the airplane. When I go to visit my customers, when I go to the office at Keldi, when I get into the office, I always say, Otsukare sama It's because people are working, so it's like, I think in English you would say good job. You don't say to people, oh my God, you are so tired, right? <laughs> oh my God, you are so tired. <laughs> no. But this expression is interesting because you will hear it if you go into stores when you uh, try clothes on. The, uh, selling people will tell you, you come out and it would be like, Otsukare sama desu. Or if you use deshita, it's the past tense. Otsukare sama deshita. Otsukare sama deshita. Otsukare sama deshita. Um, you arrive at the office, people are working, you say, Otsukare sama desu. And you are on the plane and you work or at the office, you work with them. Otsukare sama desu. One person finishes work before you and says before leaving. Also, I can teach you an expression if you work in a Japanese environment and you can't speak English. You will hear very often. You have to excuse yourself for leaving earlier before your colleagues osaki ni shitsurei shimasu and i say it always all the time when i go to kalji because i always leave usually before my colleagues shitsurei shimasu osaki ni is before or if you go into the elevator before your friends at Osakini, or if you do something before, if you start eating before someone's cooking, you can say Osakini. That's, that means you do something before the others. And Shitsure Shimas means uh, you excuse yourself. Uh, when you go, for example, into a room, you have an appointment, you knock, you go in, Shitsure Shimas. You excuse yourself for coming in, right? Osakini, 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 shitsurei shimasu. So you, ex, um, you excuse yourself for leaving before the others. Osakini, shitsurei shimasu. Osakini, Shitsurei shimasu. Osaki ni shitsurei shimasu. Osaki ni shitsurei shimasu. Te kanji. Then your colleagues will tell you, uh, Otsukare sama deshita. Good job. Or you, you, you're tired for having been working, right? They use the past tense. Deshita. That's the past tense. To get it. So feel. When you are working in the plane, you say. You can say you, you get. I don't know. Someone is doing something. You can say. Otsukare sama desu. Otsukare sama desu. Otsukare sama desu. Otsukare sama desu. And when you leave your. Uh, colleagues, you separate, you're, you're done with your flight, you will say, Otsukare sama deshita. Otsukare sama, de Otsukare sama deshita. <laughs> Are you doing a copy and paste, Jessica? Ah, tsukareta. If I say, ah, tsukareta, ah, I'm tired. Tsukareta, 
あチャイム疲れてるわ疲れたねお疲れ様でしたお疲れ様ですいただきますお先に失礼します<笑> If you need me to repeat slowly ask me If not watch on replay okay guys Alors, and then also a more formal greeting for Japanese passengers. I would say welcome. Yoko uh, son. I can't recall what. Yoko son. What do they say? I don't even know if they say Ilashai Masse. Ilashai Masse Yoko son. You know, when you go into a store, they will say, I la shai masse. La, attends, tu dois te dire. I la shai masse. Attends, I la shai masse. <laughs> Are you still with me, guys? I thought that doing this live would be more entertaining, but I'm not sure about that. La chai masse, yokoso. Yokoso means when you arrive at the airport, welcome, bienvenue, it's written, right? Ah, konnichiwa. Qu'est-ce que tu dirais? Bah, tu dis bonjour. <laughs> you say hi, no? Hi, do you see my What's going on? What's up? <laughs> voilà, c'est ça. Bienvenue, Yokoso. Ah, anone, subete o sake o nomimas taka. You drank all the alcohol. Good. Nihonji, Nihon no kata desu ka? Nihonji ga imasu, ima. Nihon no kata ga imasu. Itara sa, choto ushiete kudasai. Hikouki no naka de. Flight attendant wa ne? ピッチ。何言うんですかいらっしゃいませ。ようこそって言わないんですよね。しょかっぱきディスさん、フェイ。I あ、あの、どう、え、向こうの方に聞いてください。No、c'est <laughs> I just answered your, your question. You watch on replay, please. And you are going to work. Good. お疲れ様です。Feel お疲れ様です。That's what you can tell your colleagues. And what I'm telling you because you are working now. Otsukare sama desu. Ensuite, Jasmine, thank you for your question. Jasmine says, I would like to learn how to say welcome in response to thank you politely and casually. <laughs> Google? Yeah, kore wa choto chigao to mo yo. Etone. So how to say thank you? You're welcome. Do itashimashite. Itashimashite. I think that Sensei Charlie taught you this expression in another lesson. Aligato gozaimasu. Thank you. You're welcome. Do itashimashite. Do itashimashite. You don't touch the <laughs> Do. No. C'est pas do. It's do. When I put an accent, it means that the vowel is long. So it's do. 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 
いたしまして、いたしまして、どういたしまして、どういたしまして、ありがとうございます。どういたしまして。じゃあまたねー。またねー。どういたしまして。OK? You got it? あ、スイーツ。あ、あ、どういたしまして。うん。But it's funny because actually Japanese people, they don't use it that much. Now, to us foreigners, especially when we are、uh, studying the language, I Can remember my colleagues at the prefecture or government would be like when I would say, Arigato gozaimasu, they would be like, Do itashimashite. So, you know, like emphasizing and speaking slowly, Do itashimashite. Haiko san, konnichiwa. Alors, ensuite. Ah. We were camera shy. I have forgotten what words to use to describe cat activities. Tatoeba. Tatoeba means, for example, Tatoeba. That if for those who have read the comments, the requests on the community area, Tatoeba means, for example, Tatoeba. The cat is purring. That's seriously, <laughs> you ask me. Difficult expressions. Purring is when they do goro goro, goro goro. But the whole freaking expression, guys, I had to check it out. Ah, oui, voilà. Because I would say, goro goro shiteru. Shiteru means doing. Hohone. What's it say? Hohon kwa. Well, shiteru. Steiru means is doing, guys. So I would say goro goro steiru, or steiru, you know. And with the gesture, everybody would understand. C'est pas compliqué les langues étrangères, les amis. It's not difficult foreign languages. <laughs> Use your hands. Put your rabbit. Attends, c'est quoi? C'est les trucs. Attends, tu sais les dix. Put your fucking hands in the air. <laughs> no, I don't have the rhythm. <laughs> But. <laughs> <rire> Chris, kawaii, arigato! <rire> Et c'est bien parce que là, putain, j'ai pas. Euh, j'ai personne qui va effacer son message d'amour à Chris. J'en ai marre des modérateurs qui effacent les putains de messages. <rire> va falloir arrêter. Je parle pas de toi, évidemment, PJ. Alors, tu sais, c'est quoi il s'appelle? <rire> Allez, on regarde. J'en ai marre. Mo tsukareta. Mo tsukareta. I'm tired, guys. I need a break. Put your fucking hands in here. <laughs> comment il s'appelle notre DJ là? Je l'adore. Enfin, je l'aimais pas avant, mais maintenant, comment il s'appelle? Merde. Comment il s'appelle, euh, PG? Attends, at the French. Bon, attends, je suis abonnée à sa chaîne. Je vais le retrouver tout de suite. <laughs> I'm a member. No, I'm not a member. A subscriber. <laughs> Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Non, non, je le connais pas. C'est qui celui-là? Euh, attends, YouTube. <rire> il y a ce passage, j'adore. Tu sais, quand il monte sur la table. David Guetta Yes J'adore. J'adore David Guetta. Put your fucking in here. <rire> en français, ça donnerait quoi Mais t'es beau, putain, de en l'air. <rire> ça y est, ouais, vous m'avez perdu. Et I am sober, guys. C'est grave, je suis fatiguée. I'm tired today, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is why I don't like to do the notification so long in advance. But I was thinking of you guys and I thought I have to announce it to them, the live stream. They will, because I know that some of you <laughs> enjoy and wait for the live streams. But then it's always when I forget that I give you. The heads up that I, I'm tired and I can't do it. C'est pas possible. Uh, il est où? 
Non, mais si je mets ça, ça va pas être bon. Ça, me, ça va me... Comment on dit Démonétiser la vidéo. Du you know David Sinclair Non, c'est pas David Sinclair que tu racontes ton vie. Non, c'est moi. C'est David Guetta. David Guetta, si tu regardes, je t'adore. Attends, comment on dit je t'adore Uh, in Japanese, they wouldn't say so much, uh, I adore you. But you know, it's the way you say things, right? Uh, in Japanese, one thing they don't really say is I love you, even in the couples. Like, Aisteru is really like, to tell you, um, how do you say that to tell you I love you? Like the first time they would tell you suki this. And to every foreigner who, le who learns the Japanese language, it's shocking. Because when you learn Japanese, you learn watashi wa, watashi wa ocha ti, watashi wa ocha ga suki des. Uh, I like tea, but I love people like you would love your partner, your family, right? Uh, but they, it's hard for them. When they use the word, I, I, I think it means they are going to marry you, guys, girls, because it's a very strong word to them. C'est pas un problème, voilà. It depends, it's easy for us, I think, to use those words, maybe. Hi, Clayton, and... I found when I went to the States, seriously, I thought that people were using, were telling I love you so much, even to their friends. In France, uh, PG, you, are you still here? You, you, you will correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I don't think we use, we say I love you like this. Tu sais quand ils s'évarent, c'est ouais, I love you. Faut tu vois, bon. Tu, on ne dit pas tous les quatre matins à nos amis qu'on les aime, quoi. Je, enfin, je pense pas. Ou c'est peut-être que c'est comme moi, mais bon. Non What do you think And I found that in the States, it was really easy for people to say I love you. And... So the paradox in Japan... Oh, no, uh, we don't say I love you that much in French. We say it only when we think it. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's a strong word to say je t'aime. And a lot of people are shy about saying je t'aime. Uh, but in Japan, they are even more shy about saying je t'aime. And even when you are with someone, they tell you ski. And you think, as a friend, you think, oh, yeah, do you like me like you like uh, pineapple <laughs> or whatever, you know? Um, we want to hear that word, I think, but it's hard to get it, to extract it from Japanese people, I think. But that's another subject. I find it adorable Japanese people ask someone to consider if they will be their boyfriend, girlfriend, and the other person accepts or not. Yes. Uh, what is also interesting in my experience is that some men would consider you as their girlfriend even if you have never said you would be their girlfriend, you have never hold uh, their hands and you have never kissed them or you know and you start being friendly with them you go and have three dinners out with them and they think that you are their girlfriend <laughs> 23 years in japan guys i have <laughs> some experiences with japanese men <laughs> maybe one day i will tell you all about it that's talking? No, that's the Japanese way. How do you express love to your friend? To fr your French friends? Uh, je sais pas. Pidgey, did you see that question? 
uh, we don't need, do we need to say? <laughs> I think I, I insulted, but and we were laughing. I said, "Attends, j'ai dit quoi? Ouais, j'ai dit, ouais, les putains de modérateurs." <laughs> Et j'ai dit, oh, parce que je parlais de toi, alors, enfin, tu sais, puisque t'es un modérateur, right? <laughs> voilà, c'est ça. <laughs> we, uh, yes, we use bad words with them, and they love it, and they answer back with bad words. <laughs> Attends, that's a good question. <sighs> No, we don't say, alors, I have, especially when, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it depends on the people. Uh, I think now with social network, yeah, but je t'adore, mais comme j'ai dit à ma soeur l'autre jour, tu vois, j'ai dit, ouais, je t'adore, mais bon, euh, c'est aussi, tu vois, c'est pas, pas hyper solennel, tu vois ce que je veux dire, et puis c'était, enfin, euh, je sais pas, et puis bon, je pense que je commence à avoir l'habitude maintenant avec les, les lives. Um, yeah, I adore you. We, I think we exaggerate. We don't even use je t'aime. We say je t'aime only to our partner, I think. Uh, do Japanese women ask men to be their boyfriend? I believe that now yes there are women and young women doing that french are qu quite restrained on expressing their feelings i think so i think we are in between japanese people and um, uh, especially americans we are in between i think we express but not that much but more than japanese people i think <sighs> Is the subject always at the beginning in the Japanese sentence stru structure or are there ex ex exceptions? No, I don't think so. I think that... <laughs> Thank you. You can tell me you love me. I like that. <laughs> Never a problem. Um, yes, I think that the subject is always at the beginning of the sentence and the verb at the end. Or at the end, ne, it's sumo, saigo ni, kimasu ne. So, uh, shugo wa, the subject, it's sumo always comes at the end, n'est-ce pas? Uh, right? Uh, shugo wa, it's sumo, saigo ni, kimasu ne. Kimas is the verb and ne. The only thing that could come after the verb would be like, you know, when you ask for agreement, right? Ne, n'est-ce pas? Kirei desu ne. This is kirei, uh, beautiful, right? Did, did, did they, did, was this clear enough? So, subject. Something and then verb at the end, always, yes. But yes, alors Genki Kame, very often, for example, I don't say, uh, we don't say always watashi wa. Or for example, if I'm talking, I start saying, okay, uh, Charlie, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Charlie wa ne, ano, nani? Mo gyuniku daisuki nan desu yo. Ato wa ne, blah, 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 blah. I will not say, Charlie each time, then I will omit the subject. When the subject, we know what we are talking about, we omit the subject. Thank you, Genki Kame. Voilà, voilà, guys. Alors, attends, tu t'en as déjà? Ensuite, alors, Michael, il est tout, est-ce qu'il est toujours là? T'es toujours là, toi? Michael. Are you still here, mate? Ah, oh, uh, my answer didn't go through. Michael asks, how to flirt? Should be easy to practice with Charlie Boy. Could be a series on how to impress that special Japanese or French lady or gentleman. Yes, but I said you have to give me specific words. 
And seriously, I literally burst out laughing. Michael replied, you can start with darling. Mon petit chou. C'est vrai. And I need a hot guy. That is so tricky. You're still here, kind of zoned out, doing some work. Haha, <laughs> boom, break time. I can start with uh, uh, honey. I think to say darling, they would say uh, they don't have those words. So they take it from. <laughs> then is that is the hot guy song your song? Are you making that song your song? Is this, est-ce que je suppose bien là? Je ne suis pas sûre. <laughs> Elaborate, please. Um, they don't have those words. Like, for example, you know, in French, we have even more, I think, than in English. We like to use, use all the small, cute animals, even if they are not cute. The way we say it, at the Charlie Hot Guy song. Um... Qu'est-ce qu'on a? We say, for example, uh, attends, mon, mon canard. <laughs> My duck. Mon canard. Uh, ma poule. <laughs> ouais, non, mais ça, c'est pas très bon, ma poule. <laughs> It's a switch to French. French. Seriously, I should do a channel in French. Pitié, t'es encore là? Ce matin, je me suis dit, je devrais faire une chaîne en français. J'en ai marre, j'ai envie de faire les lives en français maintenant. <laughs> I don't want to speak. English anymore, guys. I want to do the lives in French. I need. I, just, I wouldn't even know how to do this song in French. I need a hot guy. Il faut un mec chaud. Alors? Eh? Qu'est-ce que t'en penses? Il faut un mec chaud. Attends. Attends. C'est trop long. J'ai besoin d'un mec chaud. Qu'est-ce que t'en penses C'est trop long de Sean. Ah voilà Ouais, c'est bon. Il faut qu'il soit chaud bouillant. <rire> oh putain. Et je sais pas ce que j'ai. Je me suis fatiguée. Puis dis, ça recommence là. Tu vois, ça fait une semaine, mais je suis... Euh, c'est la descente en enfer là. Je sais pas ce qui m'arrive. C'est horrible. J'ai l'impression d'être droguée alors que j'ai rien pris. Hein, je suis sûre. Panda is kawaii. Alors... I have one. His name is Charlie. He wears a bow tie. Okawai. Attends, tout en acté, hein? <rire> Alors, attends, c'est le rôle. Je ne sais pas mes péchés, celui-là. <rire> attends, ça devient gravos, là. Et he likes his liver pâté. Ah ouais, Michael. Very good. I panic. <laughs> Doesn't make you panic. Good. Thank you. Donc, il faut un mec chaud. Il faut qu'il soit chaud bouillant. Non, ça va pas. J'ai pas le rythme en français. Faut pas, je, faut pas que ça soit avec ce rythme. C'est trop court. It's too short. We will find something nice. Donc, darling, they would say honey. That comes from the English honey. Because they don't have a seal. They don't have those cute words. But sometimes they say darling. Da, no, darling. Darling. Mm, darling or honey. Darling. Attends, tout le monde Darling and honey. <laughs> Et en japonais, en katakana, c'est naze. <rire> darling. Darling, ouais. Et... C'est quoi Attends. Honey. Honey. Yes, I remembered. Just remembered. I have the boy, Japanese boyfriend who was calling me like this. It was so weird. Petit chou-fleur. Tu vas se couper, ok, dommage. Ok. Je, I'm not going to Hollywood. 
I almost got the proposal from the Terminator production last week with my cyborg eye. Too bad. Uh, alors attends. My cap. Uh, elle est super vieille celle-là. I've had it for for a few years now. <laughs> alors attends. <laughs> Debbie, attends, how do you say I need to take a shower in French and there are no towels in the bathroom? Uh, faut que je prenne une douche et mais il n'y a pas de. Faut que je prenne une douche, mais il n'y a pas de serviette dans la salle de bain. Don't ask me to write this down. Now, should I write down? That would be so much work, you guys. You know what we can do if you write again your questions in as a comment, I can put the translation in French after this video. If you write this in a comment after the video, I can write it in French. Faut que je prenne une douche, mais il n'y a pas de serviette dans la salle de bain. No covers though, has to be original. What are you talking about, guys? Sorry, I missed some comments. Okay, darling, done. Mon petit chou. My little cabbage. Mon petit chou. Impossible in Japanese. That would, we would go back to darling. <laughs> ah oui, pardon. Fuck and... <laughs> Il n'y a besoin de... Il y a plus de champagne dans le frigo. Ah, you want to know? I need to drink... Ah oui, attends. Champagne, non, mais t'as une d'accord. Donc, moi, les autres, on est haïté naïwa. Moi, les autres, on est naïwa. Champagne, non, mais t'as une d'accord. Moi, les autres, on est naïwa. There is no more. Moi, naïwa. Just remember this. Talking about my song. Mo, naiwa. Mo, nai. Wa. There is no more. Mo, naiwa. Mo, naiwa. Mo, nai. Wa. Mo, naiwa. Sampanyo, no me tente que no mo, naiwa. <laughs> Alors, au okay, quedes, au okay, quedesca. I need, I need a hot guy. How would I say that in Japanese? Hot guy, chodai. <laughs> Give me a hot guy, chodai. <laughs> Nan demo. <laughs> Like champagne, chodai, give me, please, chodai. But it's, if you say chodai at the store, I said kudasai, the polite way to say, this is casual. How to say kudasai in a casual way? Like someone asked me about how we are uh, begging for treats. They would say, oyatsu chodai, oyatsu chodai. Oyatsu is treats. Chodai, give me. Kudasai is the polite way to say that. Chodai, you will say chodai to your friends, for example. Pass me the, pass me something. Nantoka chodai. If you don't know how to say it, say it any other way. If you say chodai, people will, will understand. It will mean Pass me, give me. Chodai. 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 But if you are at the store and you want to buy something or you want, for example, to try something uh, or like, I don't know, pass me this book or whatever, could I say? Or when you buy it, I'm just, you know, of course there are other expressions, but I'm trying to teach you, you know, very few words that could be come in handy in many situations, right? Chodai, kudasai, kudasai. It's hard to write Chinese like a native Chinese person. Thank God we have 
to computers now. I have started, guys, my... <laughs> j'ai commencé, j'ai fait quatre. J'en ai fait quatre, là, des candy. And seriously, this one, there is one I'm not even sure. Quarantine life, guys. Talking about this, I have a question. We can go back to the questions afterwards. I've been telling you for something like a month, at least I would do a video about, you know, how I'm dealing with this situation, how I'm overcoming, you know, the stress and everything during those uh, self-isolation days, quarantine days for you, for most of you. Uh, and I had started working on a video, but seeing that you prefer doing li the lives, I know that very often. The thing is that if I do this live, the advantage of doing the live is that you can ask me questions. I can explain you my daily routine since I've been self-isolating and what has helped me uh, not getting depressed. Uh, but because this is hard it's for every, everybody, yeah? harder for some than others, of course, but it's hard for everybody being deprived, deprived of, of one's liberty, that freedom, that's hard, uh, that gets through your, you know, brain. But, uh, I have this routine, um, and I had started, you know, filming some bits but to finish it, it will take me more days. Uh, if I do an edited video, then you can see me actually doing those things. Like the yoga with Poo. No, I'm not supposed to do it with Poo, but when I do my yoga or exercise, he comes with me, Charlie too, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if we do the live stream, the advantage is that you will not see those images that I can use somewhere else on Instagram or I can edit some kind of other video. But you can ask me questions. Uh, and if you would be okay with doing a live stream about that, uh, I can do it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. It would be quicker than if I have to edit a video. It will take me at least one more week to get to film all those other bits I haven't filmed yet and it won't be perfect anyways so what do you think hi Philippe you will have to watch on replay because your question was the first one I'm answering your question at the beginning Any live stream is welcomed and I will try, of course, to announce it at least one or two hours, but probably I will know that morning. Um, if a live stream is good enough for you, I will do it, I think, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, um, before I have my lunch. <laughs> it will be better. So I will announce it in the morning. You will get the notification three, two, three hours before I do it, okay? But is... Because if when I start at 2 p.m., it's 10 a.m. in CA. I like to start at 1 usually, which is 9 p.m. Is that is that our okay with you guys? Live stream is always good. Thank you. Whatever I enjoy more. Thank you. Okay, we can do a live stream because um, it's an or another occasion to spend some time together, right? Uh, and those beats, I can, the babies. Maya, tu veux dire bonjour, ma chérie? T'as aussi ma sou. Maya, tiens. I will find some use for those beats that I took because they inc most of those uh, beats uh, and include the babies. So I can, you know, I can make something out of it, I think. <sighs> Jeff, you're good. Voilà, guys. Bon, c'était bon pour la leçon. We are going to stop with the lessons. I'm, I don't know what I have. I'm really tired. I have 
I'm really again tired and I have this headache and I don't know why. Um, and I think I answered all of the questions that you had. Thank you so much. Now we can chat a little bit if you want. And after that, I will let you go and I will go back to work and other things I have to do. Otsukale sama deshita. Arigatou gozaimashita. Do you like? Thank you to the person who bought it to me. I got a donation from one of my pa patrons to treat myself on Patreon. Voila, and this is what I bought uh, when I was last out because I knew I would stop going out because uh, haven't been out since, I think it was what, last Wednesday or Thursday I was out. Is this a delivery? Or it's been a week? Attention to my thé. Yes, it was, I think I was out last, last, I was out last Wednesday. And hi, Crazy Anne, ça va? And I thought, oh my God, I am definitely um stopping going out as much as possible i will try yes it was wednesday because all the restaurants anyways ha are closed now uh even the starbucks is closed and when i went to this, the thing is that now that all those places are closed everybody goes to the freaking supermarket and that really scared me not only for me, but for them, for all the elderly people, they were just like, they don't get it that we should try and avoid really walking too close to each other, etc., etc. And they were just sitting like all packed on benches and, and that scared me. Um, it was like, okay, we have nowhere else to go now. So let's just go to the supermarket, you know? And I thought, wow. Maybe that was a bad timing, I'm not sure, but I thought I'm not going out because uh, we also know the situation, which is the, the same as, you know, other countries. We don't have, we are not even sure we can get, you know, um, the medication and everything at the hospital if we get really sick. So, uh, you know, I don't want to get sick. So I've been in and I had anyways a lot of fresh food to eat. I'm good, thank you. Je vais bien, merci. Je vais bien, merci, Anne. Um, I might go out tomorrow because I have no more fruits nor milk and, um, you know, I still have vegetables. But no, I get the fresh air every day because I take the babies for their walk. And I'm every morning I'm out, I have a patch of green. It's a small garden, but I have a garden. And every morning, see? That was this morning, guys. So I have to go out for the babies anyway. Even if, even if I wouldn't want to go out, I have, even when I'm sick, unless I'm like, you, you know, really, I go out every day for the babies, but also I like the sun. So, uh, well, yesterday we weren't out because the weather was really bad, but, um, um, but going to the supermarket, yeah, at some point I will, I could avoid if I wanted to, because I can get stuff delivered, even the fresh stuff, even the milk, even the fruits and everything. But uh, waiting until Saturday is a little bit late. Um, hopefully the situation is, has gotten better in a week. Because I think that... On TV, they try and explain to people you have, you can't be close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, they try to explain to people you can't stand you, social distancing, you know, and the distance in between you people, you know. Kawaii, je suis tout émorifé. Voilà, kawaii. You can't do it on Scottane, because at the Scottane, it's so much time there, you know. So much time there, you know. Um, you know, I'm even. My trimmer, she's uh, the hair trimmer for the babies. I'd like to take them because she's a private, she does it at her home. But, uh, je vais te couper moi tes poils. I'm not even sure she's doing it. But uh, I'm thinking, you know, if I take the babies and she has it or her family has it or whatever, you know, maybe it's not a good thing to take the babies to the trimmer. Uh, and maybe she's not doing it anyways. Uh, but so I might go to the supermarket tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, and then maybe hopefully people are more reasonable than they were a week ago. But um, it's really weird because when I see even, you know, when I look at outside and sometimes I see people, uh, when I take the babies for their walk, there is this small, like, you know, uh, playing area. All the kids and the parents, I can see. And I don't think, when there are so many people, it can't be just one family. There is a slightly less, I would say, than two weeks ago on weekends. But still, you know, uh, that's very worrying because uh, it seems like, I don't know, Maybe they think there aren't that many cases, not sure, but um, all hairdressers are closed here. I don't know if my hairdresser, I was thinking this morning that my hair has really grown, but it's okay, I like it. But I feel bad for her because, you know, even when I don't cut it, sometimes I would have what they call the hair spa, like once a month or, you know, to just relax and see her and get the head massage. I don't want to go and do that because I don't want to 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 take any risks, right? Uh, I don't. I will check her, out her site. I need to iron that shirt already. Do I? This is linen. You know how it is linen. It gets it's the first time I'm wearing it. See, it's all creased already. That's linen, but it's nice. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Um, I don't remember seeing TV mentioning, you know, uh, that hairdressers had to close. I'm going to, I can check out right away because there will be something on their site if they are close i think right my internet this computer is a pain it loses the connection very often you might seriously guys you want me to show you a funny one that I sent to my sister and of course I didn't put it on <laughs> it's in French I didn't put it on Instagram that would be maybe too much I will translate before showing you the picture first time at the aesthetic, do you say an aesthetician? How do you call those? You know when you get your hair plugged. <laughs> those hairs. <laughs> oh, you know. Ça y est, je redeviens technique là. I'm becoming technical again. <laughs> the aesthetician. Bon, voilà. You want to see the picture? <sighs> First, so this is, no, c'est pas ça, non. Uh, you know, some people, they use wax, others laser. 
But when you go to the esthetician, esthetician, voilà, c'est ça, c'est ça. Merci, Michael. First, and it's written in French, first time of the spring at the esthetician. But I think it's just perfect because everybody has in mind after being quarantined. <laughs> Attends, shoot! Allez! Attends! C'est horrible! Can you see? Attends, seriously! That's too much work, mates! Like, what the hell? People! Voilà, Lex, this a chance, you know. That's one way to keep busy. <rire> Putain, j'ai cru que t'étais pas là, toi. Tu es, es censé être en train de bosser. Après le confinement, ça sera comme ça, voilà. Et on est dans la merde, les amis, je vous dis pas. Non, mais c'est l'esthéticienne, quoi. The person, the customer, ok, but the, the esthéticienne, quand même. <rire> Guys, tu viens de te reconnecter, Samus. Part of my seriously, guys, my routine is that I try and why am I exercising? <laughs> Carrie is shocked. <laughs> I am staying fit. And everything, what I usually do, I keep on doing and even more because I have the time to do it. And I'm more conscious of doing this, those things because I do not need to do those things. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because when you are quarantined, you wake up in the morning. If you don't want to take a shower, if you, don't, if you want to stay in your pajamas, and especially like me, if you live on your own, who cares? <laughs> Nobody will tell you, take a shower, get, put some clothes on you. This is part of my routine. Every day, I'm like, I mean, in the, that hot guy could come to my door. I would be ready <laughs> to meet him because I don't want, you know, it's not because we, ha we are in quarantine that we have to become orang outan. Hein? <laughs> nope. Because I think it's, I need, and we need to have those, you know, things that we usually do. It gives, to me, it gives some sanity and some sense of normality, which I explained before. But this is why, if, if I go to the esthetician, she will not faint, I think. I think that my hairdresser, guys, I don't see, attention to my thing, any announcement about being closed routines yes if i did look like that i hope there would be no reactions now rendez-vous voilà c'est ça rendez-vous um what else was funny <laughs> this one, je sais pas si tu l'as vu, uh, PG. 20 years ago, everybody was making fun of him, Michael Jackson, wearing a mask. C'est vrai. That's true, guys. And uh, what did I say? Did you see this one? Alors, le poupou, poupou has his new. <laughs> Because, oh my God, France, they have their in quarantine one more month until the 11th. <laughs> and she, and she announced it to me when she was, when I was sleeping and I woke up to this. <laughs> one more month. Kawaii <laughs> Lies up, dayo. <laughs> Nope, yesterday I exercised for an hour, an hour and a half. I've been super good. 
Have you seen this one? Oh my god, it's so funny. You home? I'm home. Are you home? I'm home. I'm home. Are you home? Hello! Yo! <laughs> it's good! Uh, uh. Shit, 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 shit. Have you seen it, guys? It's brilliant. Seriously, I've watched it at least 20 times. I, I, I burst out laughing every single time. It's really good. Voilà, voilà, on va finir. Gros et poilu. Mais non, mais euh, bon, euh, les pompes, euh, il y a plein de façons de faire de l'exercice. Hein. Voilà, guys. Bon, euh, I'm going to leave you, I think. Only to send a few emails, um, do some more bread trials. Uh, you do know that I have so much footage that I haven't edited. Uh, edited. <laughs> See, I'm tired. I haven't edited for the bossy way. Um, I have a lot of things to put on uh, my account. I just, uh, I'm seeing something arriving from you. Um, I have to, to edit those videos too. So when I do the live streams, it takes time, right? Because my live streams are always, are always so long. But um, there are more recipes to come. They will not be live, but I will, especially when I go and get some milk, I will make more live food live streams, of course, because it's fun. We enjoy it. Uh, there is one, I hope, so there will be some more Japanese stuff too. David, I hope you are doing well. Kish, alors Philippe, yes, uh, PG was suggesting Kish too. I don't have, I will have to do the dough myself, um, but I can, of course, it's not hard. Good night, Michael. Matane. Matane. Sensei, sensei, sleeping, yo. Our little Hawaiian. Kawaii. Such a doll. Kish, Kish is nice. Uh, I will, yes. Uh, and you know, in France, I think when the spring is here, we try, we, we start eating lighter, and <clears throat> Kish is being considered as a light dish. We use it when we do picnics too. Kish is good, warm, and even cold, right? And you can eat it. The following day it gets even better so uh this is something i start cooking a lot usually during uh, the um, the spring so i will try and make one recipe i have one of my ingredients is expired and i have to try and turn it i don't want to announce it now but uh because we never know who's watching right uh, and we'll do the same thing, so I'm not announcing it, but I have this thing, Nina, hi, that is expired, and I can try and turn it into something else. And I want to do this live with you, guys, because if it doesn't work, oh my God, I think we are going to laugh really hard. Voilà, merci beaucoup Nina, I'm sorry, this is the end of the live stream, we've been doing this for about an hour and a half, please watch on replay. Tu vas travailler, Gélios, et t'es la chai. So when people go to work and when people leave the house, when people leave the house and when people, for example, you're in an office and one of your colleagues goes to a meeting and says, I'm going to my meeting, you say, et t'es la chai. Itterasai. And the person who goes says, Itekimas, Itekimas, Hawaii. Has uh, Charlie told?
taught you this before. Itadakimasu. I will put this in the description, okay, guys? Itadashai. Voila! Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Because this is the end of the live. If we were in the middle of the live, I would probably say Arigato gozaimasu. It's the end, so Arigato gozaimashita. Itadakimasu. Two teas. Thank you, arigato gozaimashita, Jeff. Merci beaucoup, guys. And you have a good night because it's time to sleep for you. Uh, let's do the quarantine routine tomorrow or uh, the day after tomorrow, probably at around 9 p.m. for you guys in California, 1 p.m. Japanese time, about, or maybe earlier, but we'll see. I will keep you posted and Darling, I hope you are well. Talk to you soon. Kerry, arigato gozaimashita. Good night. Good night. <laughs> we can, you have, I have, we should do, you know, one of those things. We might someday, guys. Huh? Joshua, sorry. Please watch on replay. Arigato gozaimashita. Kiyotsukete. Take care and uh, see you very soon. Lots of love. Bisous. Bye.